Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Firewall Gang. Today we are going to see some of the important uh, packet capture command. So you can uh, capture the packets and later on you can run that packet capture. Uh, from Wireshark, right? So let's begin. So I have already logged into my gateway, and from this gateway, uh, I'll be running the commands. So let me clear the screen. So the number one command I would like to show which is fw monitor so the syntax is fw monitor o o is for the output where you are taking few important points here uh, when we run the FW monitor, usually we suggest uh, we need to uh, disable the secure XM. So you will get a proper output. So I have a video uh, where I can ex uh, I have explained that uh, how we can you know uh, disable secure Excel for few IP addresses or the network instead of you know disabling for internet network so this this video will help you uh, for uh, saving your life from uh, getting stuck if you want to disable the entire secure network for i mean the uh, secure uh, excel feature for entire uh, network ip addresses right so i will put a link in the description please go ahead and watch this video and now we'll continue on this video so FW monitor uh, is the uh, command name. We have a lot of filters here. Uh, you can provide uh, what is your source IP address, destination IP address, you know, or source port, destination port, uh, protocol like that. If you like to filter, so I have provided a link in the description for uh, having these uh, details where you can do the filtering. So go ahead and uh, uh, go to uh, visit this site and take a FW monitor syntax from there for your convenience. For now, I'm putting an uh, entire FW monitor uh, capture. So I'll be capturing all the packets which are hitting to my gateway. So let's do that. And after that, you have to uh, specify the file name. So I'm capturing, say, uh, whatever it is, the name would be anything. So for test dot and test capture underscore FW monitor dot pcap. Pcap is the extension for a uh, Wireshark file. So I'm just putting enter. And if you see, the packet capture is begin. So here, uh, the packet is getting captured, and you can see uh, how many packets are getting captured right now with this. So once the packet capture is done, you have to press Control C. So you have to press Control C to stop capturing packets so let me press ctrl c and now you can see where is the packet capture so let's see the present working directory so i have put it in a say, home admin directory 
you can put at whichever directory uh, you have a space like going to that directory using cd command so let me see whether i have the uh, the file so i'll be giving a name of the file so see if it is available there so as you can see the file is present here and using WinSCP, I can take this file out and perform the uh, packet capture, right? Similarly, uh, you can use packet capture using the command called TCP dump. So the syntax is uh, right now I'm showing a packet capture. using ECP dump command commands so again uh, what are the link I have specified on the description uh, you will refer that for the syntax generation for now I am uh, generating the packet capture for entire uh, uh, communication happening on my firewall so say tcp dump dash n n i and then you can give the interface name from where you want to uh, do the packet capture and then w uh, giving you details like where you want to save this uh, i mean at uh, which file you want to uh, save this capture so i'm giving the uh, uh, name so test underscore uh, tcp dump underscore capture like that so just note this is a name okay you can give as per your requirement Let me clear the screen and if I press enter, it will start listening and start capturing. The only thing is that in a TCP dump, you will not see the number of the packet captures. Uh, let me do the control C to stop capture. So we'll see if we have a packet on this interface or not. So let's see, control C. And as you can see, there are 9,047 packets got captured. Okay. So if you want to view the file, again, you need to run the command. Uh, which is let's see where it is captured it's on this directory ls minus l and the file name so as you can see the file is generated and you can uh, <laughs> get this file out from here and run with the wire set using win SCP. Right. There are certain scenarios where you need to do the you know packet capture for you know critical interfaces like a sync interface for monitoring uh how the cluster Excel is working, etc. So for that, I have a, a, a command uh, generated. So if you like, you can take that command for your reference, and it is very handy for the purpose of troubleshooting or something like that. So I am just putting that command over here. Let me clear the screen first. The command is this guy. 
TCP term is one five zero zero slash I sing interface name. So here, whatever the sync interface name you have, you can specify that sync interface name. And then this is the file name. Uh, I mean, uh, this is the uh, option where you can specify the file name. So here I am saying, okay, let's go and store this file using this name on this location uh, or a UDP port uh, 8116, which is a CCP protocol port. Okay, so let's run this command. Let me first see. Uh, uh, if get RFS. Oh, sorry, AW. Get RFS. Let me see the uh, the interfaces configure. So right now over here, I don't, this is open server, so I don't have a sim interface configured. But for now, if I specify the name of the sim interface, which is say ETH2 here, which acting as a sim interface for me, so it will start capturing the packets. So what are the packets is capturing for the syncing, uh, syncing things is getting captured. And when I say uh, control C, packet capture will start and you will see, okay, these are the packets get captured from the sync interface. And for the sake of uh, understanding, if I want to see what is there, let me see if I can, you know, pull those details using the less command. Just I wanted to show you whether uh, the 8116 packet is get captured, but I, let's, let's try. Uh, let me see, press and the command. Okay, so it will not give me anything here. Although if I put my cat, yeah, so you have to run this from the Wireshark and you will see these details. So guys, thanks for watching this video and have a wonderful day ahead.